When consideration is needed for a wind tunnel environment, Creo Simulation Live can solve this as an external flow study. After opening the geometry you wish to simulate, the first step is to select Enclosure Volume from the Fluid Domain pull-down menu. You are then able to manipulate the enclosure volume to the desired shape by entering values or dragging the handles. After you are complete, the enclosure becomes transparent. Next, you can apply a flow velocity to represent the wind in this study. Let's select the front plane and the ground plane and enter a value. Next, let's assign slip symmetry to these three surfaces. This boundary condition describes the fluid flows along the wall without friction, instead of stopping at the wall. The next step is to create an outlet pressure at the exit of the enclosure. And lastly, apply a fluid material of air to the fluid domain for this study. Then click Simulate to get our results. You can now see the velocity results instantaneously. You can see these results as a volume of air or as slices that you can move dynamically. In this case, you can rotate the default cut plane and use the dragger to view the velocities at different locations. A common method to view results for a wind tunnel display is using streamlines. You can have one or many streamlines at one time. You can also control the position and the shape of each streamline. This is just one example of many that Creo Simulation Lab can solve to guide designers to making improved decisions using CFD early in their process.